uploaded uh, welcome back to cost and management accounting l6 um this video we want to look at question five of the question paper of june 2024 so on this question paper we'll do, for this question we're going to prepare the income statement according to the absorption costing method so the question is that the following income statement was prepared by the inexperienced bookkeeper of k and kia limited so uh, we're given a table that we're given there we have the information that we're going to use to prepare that income statement then on the required part uh it reads correct, uh, correctly prepared the income statement according to the absorption costing methods. Uh, so we're just uh, going to uh, be looking at 5.1 according to this video. And the question is going to level marks. So uh, on absorption costing, remember, uh, we are saying uh, we are taking into account all costs. Uh, in other ways, uh, we can also refer it uh, to full costing method because it takes uh, all costs into, into account. Uh, that is a fixed cost and variable cost. And that makes it uh, different from mar marginal costing, where the marginal costing takes only into account a uh, variable cost. So um, very important uh, in absorption, we are taking into account all the costs that are there that are associated with the manufacturing. So uh, this is what we have. So if you go to our other section, you would see that uh, we have our, our provision uh, for the preparation for income statement using the absorption costing method. So this is what you'll be given in your know, answer book. So um, the first uh, item that we are going to start with, obviously, is going to be our sales. So we come here, we say sales. We go to our information that we are given and try to find out uh, what figure of sales are we have. Uh, we are told that it's 90,000 units at 50, 50 uh, and each and uh, um, amounting to 4.5 4 million, which is 4 million 500,000. So uh, we can just go there and put that figure as our sales. So we are having 4 million. 500,000. And obviously, I uh, will go back and try to see what else do we have, uh, which we should put in our income statement. Uh, right, we are now subtracting the cost. Uh, so here, uh, let's just go back uh, in the income statement. Here, we are now uh, beneath sales. Now we are saying uh, less total production cost. Remember, we're saying absorption is taking into account all the costs. So here, we're saying less uh, total uh, production cost. So we are, not, we are not going to list all the uh, production costs that we have in question. And obviously, we are now we enter the total uh, here uh, as our total. So we can go back and try to see what we have in terms of the costs that we have in the question. So we are going to start with uh, our direct material. We are giving it there as 550,000. And then we also have our direct labor, 480,000. And we have our variable manufacturing over as 220,000. No adjustment. So we can pick those. And uh, just go and enter there. So we're saying uh, we have our direct material. And we are saying uh, we have 550,000. And then we have our direct labor. A direct labor, we've got uh, 480,000. And then uh, we have um, variable manufacturing over here. Variable manufacturing over here. Uh, so uh, the uh, amount that we have is 220,000. Then we go and pick other other uh, expenses uh, that we should include them. So other variable manufacturing overheads with fixed manufacturing overheads, uh, of which we are also supposed to include them there. But uh, for variable selling and administration and the fixed selling administration, we're not going to, these ones uh, should be adjusted after. So we can just maybe try to uh, take only uh, fixed manufacturing overheads and put them there uh, before we uh, subtract. Right, we go there. So we are saying we have, we have fixed uh, manufacturing overheads. So um, the amount that we have for fixed, uh, we have 255. So this is what we have then from there now, we can add now to get the total. Total production cost. Remember, we are only listing to production costs that are, are beneath here, which is fixed and variable. 
Then if you add uh, 750,000 plus 480,000 plus 220,000 plus 255,000, you are supposed to get 1 million. Uh, 1 million 500 and 5,000. So here, remember, this one is a 4, 4,500,000. So we are saying less, yes, so we subtract. So we say 4,500,000 minus 1,500,000. Then others would come here, which is our 2,995,000. 2 okay, then we have 2,995,000. And this is representing our gross profit. Right, so beneath that now, uh, that's where now we are saying less total selling and administration costs. Uh, so less. Selling and admin. And admin costs. We check uh, which amount we have there. Uh, selling and administration costs. Uh, we are seeing that we have got 100 uh, selling and administration costs. Uh, we have got uh, for selling and administration costs, we have got variable selling and administration costs, and then we've got fixed selling and administration costs. We are just going to list the delete that. We have got 190,000 representing a variable selling and administration costs, 190. And then uh, we have got fixed selling and administration costs being 187. So you can come here. So we have a variable. Selling and admin. And we are saying it's 100, 190. Uh, we can put it in this column. And then we have a fixed. Selling and admin. And we have 187. So we add the two, uh, 190,000 plus 187,000, we're supposed to get 300 and 77,000. We are saying less, so we are subtracting. So we're saying 2,995,000 minus 377,000, the other should come here, is 2,618,000. And then uh, this obviously is going to be our net profit. So uh, maybe we can put our uh, we can put our number lines to show that this is our final figure. So this is our final figure showing the net profit are uh, being calculated according to the absorption method. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, those of you who subscribe, please subscribe and share. We'll meet again in the next video. As for this video, I'm signing out.